Hi hey everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures. I am just home from work and uh, something came in the mail. It's my favorite tea to drink in the winter and Christmas time. I originally found it at Paper Source and it does have a little bit of licorice in it, which is not my favorite flavor. But as I drank the tea, I really got used to it and now it's my favorite holiday tea. I've been working on this feather tree and uh, it's very challenging and frustrating. I ran out of feathers, so I do have to order a few more packs. I need to get online and do that. But I wrapped the branches with the white feathers. I just wanted to do white so it was different than um, the green. And in the center, I put some tinsel because you can see it was green. I actually didn't mind the green and the white, but I just thought the tinsel would help hide where they, they come towards the middle branch. And hating it. <laughs> I like it. It's growing on me. I added a little ornament on the end, so I want to do some more of that. And then I think once I have some decorations on it, it it'll be nice. Um, but I do like it here, especially because it's got the little glittery garland. I know it's hard to see because the backlighting from the window. But I think these two things look nice together. This area needed a little Christmas touch. I added the birdcage, some beads, and a green book. I also added a red velvet ribbon to the mirror. And luckily, I had thrifted that at my church yard sale a few summers ago. I am sitting on the floor and I am looking through magazines and clipping out pictures that I put into this little sketchbook in little collections, which I haven't thought out too much because if I did, I would have given more space for these sections, but I didn't even know what sections I was gonna have until I started looking through magazines and clipping things out. So like there's lampshades, you know, cut out lampshades that I like. I have no clue what that little section is, just pretty picnic stuff. This is like Christmas home stuff. And this is the picture, the pictures that I saw that inspired my red books. Not that I have a lot. And I always love dark stuff with like a crystal chandelier or something. I'm baking some chocolate chip cookies, uh, some to take to my sister's house and then some to have for Christmas Eve. And I had two bags full, I wouldn't really say batches, of the rosemary shortbread. So I'm going to take chocolate chip and these rosemary shortbread to her house. And then I've got a little bag for us left here. So I pulled out some chocolate chips. I'm about to do that. I've got this cozy little setup. I added some different things into my copper pot. So that's just nice and festive while I'm cooking. And it's actually a gray, I think kind of rainy or misty day. So a little dark. So I turned the Christmas tree light on. The first batch is out and cooling a little bit before I transfer it to the cutting board. I've got the second batch in and I have been looking through my recipe book, making my plan for Christmas Eve and Christmas and Christmas morning. So I uh, am looking through the recipes and then looking in my pantry and my fridge to see what I need and what I have. And I'm making a big shopping list. I have this container that's just easy to transport. So I'm gonna fill this up with cookies. So I've got the shortbread with rosemary, chocolate chip, and I decided to make some snickerdoodle. I haven't made that in like two years. And since I have the space, I thought I'd do it. I am uh, only doing a half batch, so it won't be a lot. I'll do half to the party, half in the freezer for us. And these are ready for the freezer as well. I still have to make the snickerdoodles, so that's why the cookies are still out. The dough has to chill for an hour, so I still have like 45 minutes before I can bake them. So I'm gonna put together some Christmas gifts and wrap. I've got tissue paper, cards, bags. I've got some pictures of the kids with Santa and school pictures. And um, this is something that I'm going to add to some of the gifts along with some lotion and some soap. And it's this O'Keefe Slip Repair, and we have the hand cream. And my husband really likes the hand cream called Working Hands, so I thought I'd give that um, chapstick a try for some men in the family. Fresh out of the oven, so they have to cool, but they smell so good. I already added the glass eye on this side. It was pretty easy to pop through, and I like that it's glass now instead of plastic, so I'm going to do this side. I could poke a hole in there to begin with, but I'm going to see if I can just get it through. Ah, I can feel that I'm close. 
the exacto helped a little bit um thank you dot i love those eyes i think the proportion works well with this too so now to put it on my buffet i'm at the grocery store checking out the plants and flowers poinsettias are so pretty and the amaryllis as well fruit cake I'm so tempted to try this, but I don't really feel like spending $9 to not like it. And I love it when they put the bows on the meat at Christmas time. Makes no sense, but I still love it. So now I'm at Aldi, and they actually have some really nice essential oils. They have clove oil, orange, some blends. There's a good stress relief dupe for Young Living for $5. And some nice gifts to give people for Christmas. There's actually a, um, a nice uh, roasting pan up there with the gold handles, $12. And then this cast iron Dutch oven was like 18 with a gold knob. I shopped today for some stocking stuffers, like little things, food that we'll need for the beginning of the week and then also for the holiday and the weekend. And I went to two grocery stores and I still didn't get everything that I needed, but I got the majority of it. So I'm going to unpack and put away right now. I got more than this, but I thought I'd share what I picked up for either meals this week or for the holiday. Uh, I did get a thing of butter because I will need that for soup. And I got a gallon of whole milk. I will need that for soup and pies and milk for Santa. I'd like to make a green bean casserole for Christmas dinner. So I got two cans of green beans and the onions. Um, I have some things on hand, so I didn't need to buy everything for every recipe. I want to make crab dip, so I got cream cheese. Uh, I also want to make like a standing rib roast or a filet. So under that, I like mushrooms and onions and peppers. So I got this trio of peppers. Christmas morning, I make a casserole, so it needs biscuits. Today, I'm going to make a beef stew because it has turned very cold and I'm craving it. And I've got lots of Jerusalem artichokes in the garden to use, so I picked up some beef stew mix. I use that for a different dinner as well, and it's always frustrating when you go to make something and you realize you don't have, like, the one main ingredient. So they had three left. I bought all three packs. Stew meat for the beef stew to one for stress and one for calming um, to just put in the diffuser so I don't know which one I'm going to use but they have a lot of orange and citrus mixed in so I thought that would be nice for the holiday season clementines and I'm going to make cabbage and kielbasa for dinner for us spaghetti squash up a lemon and lime I thought that would be nice sometime this week if we have drinks or you know something fresh as a garnish I haven't had ranch dressing in ages so I got a little um bottle of that and then some celery and carrots for the stew but also like when I make crab dip later in the week I, I want to have a lot of vegetables to put out for a vegetable tray and uh, we love celery. All the groceries are away and um, I'm making a list of what I wasn't able to get or I want to get it closer to when I'm going to cook it like mushrooms and cucumbers. I don't want to have them a week in advance. I'd like them a little bit fresher. And uh, trying to think of any last minute Christmas gifts that I have to pick up. I know it's less than a week, so I'm definitely cutting it down to the wire. <laughs> what I'm thinking for Christmas Eve is pan seared scallops and cream of crab soup and a relish tray just with um, crab dip, cheese, and uh, cauliflower, olives, pickles, cucumbers, green peppers, celery, that kind of thing. And then that can be left over or turned into a salad for the next day. And the crab dip will be left over. We'll have cream of crab left over. Scallops will probably all be eaten. And then for Christmas Day, I'll have the sausage and egg casserole in the morning, which I have a recipe uh, for on this channel. I can link it. And then uh, green bean casserole and salad, because my husband will eat salad, and the rest of us will eat all of that. And then some type of beef, um, a tenderloin, or just a rump roast, or... What else? Um, I did see standing rib roasts at the store and they weren't that expensive. Um, definitely would be a treat though. And I'll put that on top of onions, red peppers, and mushrooms. So there'll be some more uh, vegetables as well. And if I get enough of that, that will be left over. Plus then if we have cream of crab, that can be like a little, a little bowl as an appetizer. Um, and then dessert, probably pumpkin pie. I've tried to make a pumpkin or a, um, peppermint cake before. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. I'm making beef stew for you and sister. 
So, what do we do now? We need to cut the onion. Beautiful. Almost done. So you cut it in half and you put the flat side down so it doesn't roll around on you. And these are just going to melt into the soup and we'll add pearl onions that'll hold their shape. So these don't even really matter what they look like. It's just kind of cut up rough. Oh, we should have our... Um, aprons on. Why? <laughs> so we don't get our clothes dirty. That's you want to show everybody your shirt? One, two, three. Uh, Wait, this is your filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> From Home Alone. Yep. And I, you know what? I think today's going to be a Home Alone type of day. Like we're going to have to make this soup and watch Home Alone. I'm working on the beef stew. So it is some um, stock beef cubes, uh, onion, I think that's it right now. Um, and I've skimmed off most of the scum. So we need to go outside and get some Jerusalem artichokes. So come with me. It's windy. It was 60, 65 on Friday. Saturday was warmish, 50. Now it's cold, not that cold, and but windy. And uh, I was at the grocery store and a lady said, my mom told me when the wind Weather changes like this in December. You're getting us snow. So these are the Jerusalem artichokes. You can see that we have a lot and they're in the sunflower family. So they take over and uh, that's why I try and keep them contained in these boxes. In the summertime, they grow taller than the, than the shed and they look like sunflowers at the top. So, could have a shovel. I should have a shovel, but I don't. So those are just, I don't know, some roots and that's a, a teeny one. I'll throw it in the pot. They need to be thinned out anyway, so. But it's so much fun doing this with the kids, but the kids are, we had a family Christmas party, so they are looking at their toys because my daughter spent the night over there. So she just got home and they're excited. So I said, who wants to come get Jerusalem artichokes and the Lego kits and the books won out. <laughs> uh, but it is fun doing it with them because it's like, you know, mining for gold. <laughs> but it definitely hasn't been that cold here. So I mean, these are easy to just dig in with your hand and find them. So, so far they've been kind of small. When you find a big one, it's so exciting. I think this might be a, a big one right there. We'll see though. Promising, it's deeper down. That was a good size. I think I could sit here and dig these up all day long, but I think that's plenty. I think I'm gonna go back out later and dig some up and actually give some to our neighbors across the street. I usually just put something out on the internet that says, hey, anybody want some? Um, but I know that the people across the street really like to uh, garden and cook fresh and cook a lot, can. So I think that they might enjoy these. The beef stew is finished and it's so funny. My son just loves helping me cook and he just kept doing taste tests with the broth. Mm -hmm. So the vegetables still needed a few more minutes to cook, but I just gave him a, um, a bowl full of broth. <laughs> and I am making a cup of tea. Dinner is cabbage and kielbasa, and I think that'll be it for this video. It's been a busy few days. Christmas is coming, and I'll see all of you soon. Bye.